filter project water treatment plants are designed to recycle water during stone fabrication. Water treatment plants can boost efficiency and lower production costs. This makes them an important part of running a profitable fabrication business. This animation has been created to take you through the stone water recycling process. This presentation outlines in basic language the way filter project water treatment plants work. The liquid in this tank is water with particles and has not been sufficiently clarified for reuse. This tank is filled from various sources. One source is a drain that runs from the fabrication shop. The drain delivers slurry produced from the wet saws and tools inside the shop. The liquid contains stone particles and flows into a holding tank. This holding tank also receives partially recycled water from another part of the system. We will look at that later in the process. But for now, let's see the first phase of the water treatment process. A submersible pump sends the slurry out of the holding tank up toward the separator. However, the slurry must be treated to accelerate the separation of the particles from the water. This treatment is performed using dosing units. These units mix polyelectrolytes with the slurry as it is pumped to the clarifier. As the slurry is pumped up to the separator, polyelectrolytes are precisely mixed with the slurry. This part of the process prepares the slurry for the settling tank. There, it will go through the first stage of separation. Once the slurry arrives at the separation tank, the clarifying process begins. The water is delivered toward the bottom of the tank, having been treated with polyelectrolytes in the previous phase. The liquid and solids behave a bit differently. The particles tend to sink toward the bottom of the tank. On the other hand the cleanest water is closest to the top. The clean water at the top of the tank is ready to be reused. So it is drained off the top and sent back into the shop's water supply via a holding reservoir. The mixture of water and particles further down the tank are not yet clean enough for reuse. In fact, this mixture is thicker than the slurry that it used to be. It is the consistency of mud and is often referred to as sludge. This sludge drains into a mud tank where it moves to the next phase of treatment. The mud, or sludge, is pumped out of the mud tank to another station called the filter press. The filter press operates on the mud using pressure and air. It forces the water out of the mud and retains the solids. The water from the filter press is sent back to the initial holding tank. There, it will be sent back through the clarifier. The filter press holds the particles that it removes from the mud. Once the plates in the filter press are full of particles, the result is a pressed and damp cake. This cake is made up of the stone particles that were originally in the slurry at the beginning. As we have seen, the water treatment process is a way of circulating water and particles. By sending the mixture through a cycle of treatments using chemicals and force, water is filtered. Once the water is clean enough to be reused, it is sent back to the shop where it is used a second time. Filter Project has various water treatment plants available. If you would like to find out more about your options, visit our site. You can contact us for more information through our website www.filterprojectusa.com.